And what I've heard said about referral marketing, predominantly for those who are kind of doing it solo, is that it, it won't last forever. You know, like that's it's not an ever evergreen well of water that will keep giving. You've got a different stance on that, though, right? No, I'm not ever one to say you shouldn't do the other. You shouldn't do other stuff, and in fact, you need to, because as you scale, you're probably looking for bigger and better refer. You as a person are probably looking for bigger and better referrals. In which case, they're not going to rely on just one introduction, right? People do business with no with people they know, like, and trust at all levels of business, right? And the, but the higher you get, a referral a referral shortcuts that process, but it doesn't negate it. If you're looking for multi million pound contracts kind of thing, or even down down from that. The person isn't just going to rely on an introduction, probably. They're going to want to see social proof. They're going to want to see content. They're going to want to see all that other good stuff. But you talk to loads of big businesses, and they still it still comes down to that their big work comes through introduction. And there's loads of stats to back that up. 87% of buyers in B2B say that the buying process normally starts with an introduction, right? And then when it comes to client referrals, 